Welcome to the project demonstration of uh, my patch trolling robots by using ESP32 camera. So here uh, this robot consists of four sound sensors are mounted at four sides of this robot. So this red color is the uh, sensors of the sound sensors. So far front side and this one is the left side and this is the back side and this is the right side. So the, when we switch on the gate initially the robot will connect it to the Wi-Fi hotspot and then after it start reading input from this four uh, sound sensors whenever the sound detected in respective side then the robot will move to that side and move forward and it will capture the photo and send that particular photo to the register email id for uh, investigation purpose so this is the demonstration of the project that's why we are using the sound sensors in real time we can go with the Raspberry Pi and that can be come with uh, microphones and uh, using that microphones we can capture the voices if that particular voice consists of any screaming or help message then the system will capture a video also and that will be captured video will be stored in a memory card and also it will send the mail to that respective email id so here this in this demonstration we are uh, using the sound sensors to detect the screams means heavy sounds and uh, that after that so the robot will move toward direction for example if the left side sound detected then automatically the robot will take left side direction and after that it will move forward for certain distance and then it will capture the photos with the help of this esp32 camera so for robot driving purpose and sensor reading purpose we are making use of this arduino uno board so here we have interfaced these sound sensors at the a0 a1 a2 a3 pins of our you know board and next sound uh, l293 motor driver this is the l293 motor driver so this l293 motor driver which was interfaced at the arduino board at 8 9 10 11 pins respectively directly so in order to control this two dc motors which are used to move this robotic vehicle we need to we need a h bridge circuits two h bridge circuits l293d uh, motor driver consists of two h bridge circuits based on the input from the arduino board so it will control the robot direction by switching the h bridges here so here we have interface the esp32 camera at transmitter pin of our you know board whenever the sound detected after reaching that particular location the system will send the signal to the esp32 camera to capture the images and send that image to the email id so on this motherboard so total robot kit consists of the battery power supply 12 volt 1 amp is a battery power supply so it's a rechargeable battery in order to recharge that battery we are providing this charging circuits along with charging board so just connect the b at this b slot and then after on the 230 volts ac input to this one so then there will be a light indication on the charging circuits which will show the status of the battery is charging so it will be fully charged in the duration of four hours so once the time completes automatically you can switch off the circuits if you forgot also don't need to worry about that this circuits will block the current flow to the battery when it is fully charged so after time completion we can disconnect the charging cable so before on the kit make sure you should have the more power in the battery means you should be under full charge battery okay and then after on the power before on that we need to uh, do the hotspot settings so go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 5583 all are small letters without any space and without any capital letter and the password should be 12345678 select ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz i am repeating these three are very important setups so if you miss any character also the system won't respond to you so on the hotspots along with the data data okay after that you can log into the email id right so these are the previous uh, images which we have received for the alerts okay so photo captured by esp32 camera and attach the email so alert message will be mail will be sent to the register email id now let us see the uh, demonstration so before on the kit keep the battery fully charged then after on the hotspot along with data with the prescribed name and password now on this so we 
can see one device is connected here okay and after that let us make the sound so when the light is blinking on the Arduino Uno board it's meaning up it's doing processing so let us make the noise So for demonstration easy purpose, I kept the sound very low. So as you can see that now the system moving forward and now it is uh, capturing the photos and it will send the photos to my email ID. So it will take 20 to 30 seconds and we can increase the sensitivity of this device also. Right? We can see this potentiometer. Every sound sensor has this blue color potentiometer you can see this okay so it has small screw over there right by rotating that we can increase the sensitivity so clockwise rotation sensitivity increase automatically the second light will get switched on when you're rotating that so it's meaning of the sensitivity is very much increased so based on your network speed you will get the mail alerts into your mobile phone so we got the email alerts and it consists of the photo directly right so this is the same we got the photo so if you have a low battery then the system won't send the mails in faster manner will get the very slow so let us see for the same output for left side also let me make the sounds spring wells great sleep save up to 60% discount from 9 to 12 click now to find the store near you and see apply It is taking the left direction. Right. So now it is capturing the photos after taking the left side. So if there is no LED blinking on this Arduino Uno board as indication of it's doing processing and attaching the email. So when it's blinking again, now it start reading. Okay. So based on the network speed, you will get the photos in your mailbox. So sorry, we got the mail again now. So we got it at 1.15 p.m. No, sorry, 1.15 a.m. Let us see the image. Right, so the low network speed, so that's why I will turn out the images. Right, okay. So in this manner, we are going to provide the security uh, in the night times for women so we can make the sound so if you make the sound here also in the front side so now it's moving forward right so it is moving forward till around of right now it is capturing the photos so it will take around of 20 to 30 seconds now so we got the one more mail. Yes, I will to process download that image. Same we get the mail of same one seventeen one sixteen. Right.